Okay, this video uh, is created to show you how to create a uh, shutdown and restart and log off uh, three buttons. So three shortcuts basically is what we're going to do on the Windows 8 system. If you notice, this, this system has the tile, the tiles on the start menu. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to go to the desktop. It's going to start like this. So click on desktop on your left hand corner which is here you'll see desktop so click on that shortcut and what you're going to do now is you're going to create a shortcut on the system by right clicking on the desktop and then going new and then shortcut and then what you're going to type is c um let me just put i'm going to put the camera down so Okay, what you're going to type now is uh, it's going to be the following. Okay, now that you've created the shortcut, you're going to type the following um, item, which is just the location of where this, the shutdown.exe resides, which is under system32. So I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see uh, what I typed. So it's C backslash windows backslash system32 shutdown.exe and then uh, put the following uh, switches on there this is just uh, the four slash s is to shut down so um, now all you do is uh, click next which would be here so click next and we you can name it differently but uh, you want to leave it at uh, shut down so that's what I'm doing here um, so now click finish Notice now I created uh, the shortcut and it actually points to the location. Now what you're going to do is you're going to create an icon for it. So you right click on it uh, and then you're going to go to properties. Now you're going to say change icon and it's going to give you this error. That's fine. Click OK. And it's going to give you the shell 32 which is where we have all the where all the icons reside so now you, you want to select this one for the shutdown so select that one click OK and now you if you notice it actually look at the mouse and put the, the shutdown uh, icon on there and so this is our name our name of our uh, shortcut now click uh, OK notice now we have the shutdown on here so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag now we're gonna drag it and pin it to the taskbar so boom so now we have it on the taskbar as well okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another um, another shortcut okay so all I'm going to do is just going to copy uh, the target and paste it on the new shortcut for the uh, restart. Okay, and I'm going to continue on with the video after that uh, tiles. Okay, now all you do is open up your shutdown uh, shortcut and do control C under the target or just type it on the new, new uh, shortcut. Now you click OK. Now we're going to go back to the desktop again, right click, go to new, and select, shortcut again, notice how I'm pointing right to the shortcut, okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the one for the shutdown, but all I'm going to do is change the S for shutdown, and I'm going to put the R for restart on the switch, okay. Uh, so if you didn't see that, this is how it's looking. So all you do is just put an R for the power, the switch. So on the switch, you're gonna put four slash. Oops, I'm doing it by myself, so excuse the movement of the camera. Um, okay, four slash R and four slash T, and then zero, space zero. So now you notice, you can see it here. I'm also going to put it on the comment section of the video so you guys can copy and paste it if you like. Okay, uh, and this is the restart, so now we'll click next. 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this one restart. Let's re restart. Okay. And go go to finish. Boom. Now we have shut down. Now we have restart. So now we're gonna do is actually put um go to properties, do the same thing you did with um the shutdown, click OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select another um, icon. Uh, let's see which one would be a good one. I like using this other one kind of as an arrow, like restart. Uh, where is that puppy? Let me see. Uh, where are you? Where are you? This one here is the one I like kind of helps so I click once you've selected it it actually puts it up here okay kind of the same way as a shutdown I'll go down here click apply click OK okay now we have a restart button and a shutdown button now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the log off to log off in case you need to log off the system and you don't want to go through the hassle of uh, going through the whole thing and and doing other stuff so let's do another shortcut for log off those are the only three I'm gonna do uh, okay for the log off you only need this for slash L for log off okay so uh, that's the only switch is still the same executable but the, the switch is what tells it what to do now you go back here to the next and then you want to name this one log off okay so now we click finish and we can move this one in here okay now we go to properties again change icon you can put any icon you like I just prefer these icons myself, so I'm going to find the one with the users. There's one in here that I like. Uh, where is it? This one here. So, which is that one. You can see it. That's the one I like because that's the users. Uh, then I click and click apply. That kind of tells me. So I have it. So there you go. Here's the shutdown, restart, and log off. That's. What I, I don't want to go all the way down here to the right, click on settings, click on power, and shut down. I didn't restart. I mean, it's you don't want to, I don't want to do that. I don't want to follow this. It's too many steps for me. So I just want simple uh, shortcuts that will do the same thing. So now what you need to do is drag them and pin them to the task manager as well. So there's one. Okay, and there's two. So notice now I have my buttons here. So if I want to log off, I'll click this one. So I'm just going to log off to show you, but they'll work. So I'm going to click on it, log off. So there you go, signing out. Boom. See, now this is sign me out. And I click on the desktop, click on the user, and I go back in. Uh, now go into bio or the desktop